Hello lovelies and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing something a little bit different. We are going to be playing Sims Medieval. This was one of my favorite games when I was growing up. Absolutely loved it. I played the crap out of it, but it has been quite a while since I've played it. So I thought we would just do a little refresh see if it still holds up to what i remember it being like and have a little fun with it i hope you guys enjoy this because i am very much looking forward to it so let's go ahead and get started right now we have to pick an ambition to play as so we only have the new beginnings unlocked, so we'll start there. Um, it says, everyone has to begin somewhere, and the first ambition of the monarch is to populate their kingdom. A kingdom full of buildings and sims is just what a budding ruler needs. So we'll do a new game, and let's get into it. Oh, what should we name our kingdom? Well, we'll just do Alley because why not? And we can go unfurnished or furnished. Because I know uh, with the unfurnished, you have to go and like decorate it yourself. And then with the traditional, you just kind of start gameplay immediately. But I think for this one, we'll just do traditional. We'll, we'll start with a thousand and then just go from there and see how it goes. Okay, welcome to Sid Sims Medieval, Pirates and Nobles. Oh, I also haven't played with the Pirates and Nobles DLC, so that's gonna be completely new for me. You'll find new quests in your quest box as marked with the cross symbol, the ominous tides quest to take the on ominous blah blah blah. Take the Autumnus Tides quest to begin the epic story. In furnished mold, you will find a huge array of new pirate and noble decor, along with new clothes. New items are marked with a special icon. Try your hand at treasure hunting. Just buy a map and a shovel from the shop, and you'll uh, you are off to discover riches. You'll also find new achievements, a new ambition, and new unlocks. Be sure to check out your achievement book. Okay. So what we need is create a character. So we're at the throne room. The throne room is the nerve center of the royal palace and a hub of activity for running the day-to-day -day operations of the kingdom. So we need a new monarch. And I think we are just going to create our own. So that's the whole point of Sims. So... I'm just gonna randomize. Do I wanna do a. F we'll do a female. Because they have really pretty dresses in this game and I can't help myself. I like the name Temperance, so we'll keep that. Hmm. I like that. Um, we'll go a little lighter because she's probably gonna be inside a lot. And what are the face details? Oh, like freckles. She probably wouldn't have that many freckles. Um, let's do traits. What should we have? Okay, so for the traits, I went with chivalrous. These Sims are kind and courteous and loyal. I also went with the eloquent. These have the gift of gab, just a few words, are enough to convince, inspire, or comfort anyone. And then for our Fatal flaw. I went with the lustrous one, which just it makes me giggle that we're gonna make a queen that wants to sleep with everyone. So we'll do that. And I'm just gonna go through and make our sim, and I will be right back. Here's our sim Temperance. She's gonna be our monarch for this let's play. I'm very excited. I love this dress. If I could get this dress IRL, please let me have it. And we need to hold on. I think we just, oh, do I need to click on furnish? I guess we do. Okay. 
And furnish mode, you can Oh, I'm already in furnish mode. Uh, do you... No, I don't. Let's go to kingdom mode. Okay, so I think our first quest is first steps. The dust had final, finally settled on the construction of a grand throne room. The seeds of a glorious new kingdom had been planted and soon a civilization would grow to cover would grow and cover the land for miles in all directions. The only thing Allie needed now was a ruler, someone wise and powerful who would unite the people. Build a kingdom for, from the ground up is no simple task. Whoever took on this incredible mission would need to secure resources, hire a staff, and control the blundering policy and beat back the criminal elements. And, okay, so let's do it. Okay. Um, I'll just turn that off. My throne room is finally complete, and the builders have been working hard, and the fruits of their labors are evident. I shall prepare to meet with the builder, Master Carnal? Car- no. Mm. I shall meet to build the build master a quick jet upstairs to the mirror should survive. Okay. So let's go to the mirror, and I think we just have to gussy up, right? Yeah. So we gussy up in the mirror. Let her make her way over here. Ah. Hmm. You know, gotta make sure all the hair hmm. is in place. Don't want to look like a disheveled mess as the new queen. Perfect. Now I'm a little more focused. Staying focused will make it easier for me to complete any journeys in which I may find myself. Speaking of which, I should seek out the Buildmaster of the Builders Guild, a powerful pillar of the community. So we have a focus meter here. The more things that we complete, the higher focus is and the higher focus makes it easier to complete the task, essentially. And we get little buffs over here that help as well. And, okay. So one cool thing about this game is whenever it gives you like a little icon. So discuss the castle with the build master, you click on it, and then discuss castle, and then you just follow your sim. I'm just gonna fast through this a little bit. Parosh, Elvoni Lebrows, Ebony Parosh Crooklin, Venoni. Pendra Brow, Lessigal Relapsis. Okay, the throne room is all done, my lady. We'll need more resources to begin the next building of the kingdom, wood, stone, and supplies. I do enjoy getting my hands dirty once in a while for the betterment of my kingdom. I should make my way to the forest and collect the necessary wood. Uh, you must collect- you must walk to the forest to collect wood. So if we click on this, this is the Eye of the Watcher, which is like essentially their god, which is funny. Oh, press the wrong button. And then you just this, and we will just go to location, and... Ah, the forest. Much adventure awaits me in these woods. The wildflower here are especially beautiful. I should collect some. Never know when a wildflower might come in handy. Um, oh, I thought I... Okay. So we're going to discover some flowers. Hmm. I believe. Yep, and then we're just going to collect them. Oh, and then over here is like our symbology. We have our relationship page and then an inventory page, which is pretty cool. And then down here is the hunger. We only have hunger and energy, which keeps it simple um 
All of these kind of plants one can pick across the kingdom, I believe. Wizards, physicians, and spies use plants to make medicine and poison. Oh. Ah, well, well. A victim has come to visit my forest. You better hand over your money if you know what's good for you. A bandit dealer dares threaten... <laughs> a bandit dares to threaten the queen. My trusty sword can bring this... Bygard to justice? Okay. So, we are going to challenge to a duel, right? Yeah. Let's see how this plays out. She has no pants on, okay. Think you can beat me? We'll see about that. We will just watch this play out. We are so winning. We are so good. We're pretty awesome for a queen. Oh, we need like one more hit and then we're good. Come on. Come on, Temperance. There we go. Look at us. Ha ha! Okay. Triumph! Bandits can really become a problem here, but a knight or spy can curb that. Now I can collect wood in peace. So for that, we are just going to go over here, click on the sign, and collect wood. There is always an adventure waiting to be found in the forest. The wood was collected and the kingdom will soon prosper from it. Oh, okay. The wood will be perfect for the kingdom's next building project. The builder would need some stone. I can find some in the cave near the graveyard. So we will just go to the graveyard and we will just follow her. Probably triple speed it. That way it goes a little bit faster. Oh, that was really fast. Um, I think these guys are just like asleep. Milady, can I have a word, please? It's about my work here. <laughs> Discuss grave digging. Again, I'm assuming these people are asleep. Um, milady, I was just wondering if you would consider building a church here in the kingdom. It seems unceremonious to bury these people without a proper right. With from a Jacobin or a priest. Thank you. An interesting proposition. There are always many things to cons consider when I choose what to build next. On that note, we need that stone. So we just need to go to the cave, right? Yeah, collect stone in the cave. So we'll go in here. And just wait. Temperance collected stone while venturing deep in the endless network of tunnels. Eventually, she climbed down a sheer drop in the dark abyss. At the bottom, Temperance reached an underground lake. She stumbled over a small chest sitting in a puddle. What should Temperance do? Open it. She might risk opening it or don't open. I say we're going to open it. A temperance opened the lid and found a small bounty of wet coins, and it was 125. That's good. That should be enough stone for the builders. I should stop by the village shop next, as I might need some supplies. Okay. So. Down here, our next destination is the village shop, and, oh my, I can't click on it. Where is it? Town Square? Path to Village. Oh, I'm not the brightest. Okay. So let's go here. Um. 
Okay, there's a lot happening on screen right now. Okay, the village shop sells plenty of things, ingredients for cooking, armor, weapons, and many other use for items. Plus, the stock is always changing. As queen, I can use the gold smolians that are added to my fund, fund each day from taxes, or I can collect and sell goods. So, I just click this, right? Yeah, go to the village shops. Do I just need to go, just go to the village shops? Okay. I don't think I actually need to buy anything. I just needed to go. But we'll just have a look to see if there's anything good. There's a treasure map. Some armor, a bunch of flowers. Is this crystals? A boat, full on boat. Food. Okay. Obsidian paddle. Look at that. Yeah, I don't think we'll buy anything for now. We'll just hold on to the money. Um, a savant lady approached Temperance and then bowed. I heard, I have heard word of your arrival and in your honor have prepared two gifts to help Blah, 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 blah. And have prepared two gifts, gifts to help as you build your kingdom. However, I shall only give you one of them. The gift you receive depends on your answer to this question. What virtue should you rather bring, or would you rather bring to Allie? Safety. As I build my kingdoms, I will value the safety of my people over our offensive strength. My people are my heart, power, the fierce strength of a kingdom is of utmost importance a kingdom is with no power is no kingdom at all so i remember back in the day i would always go with first safety but i think this time i want to go for power uh very uh, the lady nodded very good very good your highness you are wise indeed then i present you the gift of authority the monarch's blade of strength. It is not the best sword, but let it symbolize your goals as you build Ali into a great and bustling kingdom. So as I said, down here is going to be the inventory, and I think this is it. Yeah, because this is when they're in orange, that means they're equipped. So down here, and we will just equip it. Oh, we need to sharpen it. How do I... What? Um... Queen, Queen, help, please. Oh, oh she's just right here. Okay. I mean, uh, okay, so we have that equipped. Let's go talk to this lady. Check safety. Guafma Brailin. Boom. Prelem. There's a woman in the town square. She pushed me into the mud and called me names. This can't happen. A bully in my kingdom? I don't think so. Okay. So let's go to the town. Oh, this is a great town square. I know you get to build it up <laughs> as well. So we'll just go here. Sea dog. That's pretty cool. That must be her. I will not accept bullying. Uh, sometime in the stock, we'll teach this bully to think before she acts. Okay. So, I think for that, we go down to Marnark and, yes, into the stocks. No death, Minaga. The constable's on his way to arrest her. What? I was just messing around. Hey. Ah, it's good to be queen. Everyone has their own way of going about these problems, though. I wonder how a wizard or physician would handle that really. Hmm. 
So what do we need to do? Go to the judgment zone. Is that in here? Judgment zone, okay. So let's go here. Look how cool this is. So this is the beast. Okay. Now, to shame the bully, that will make her think twice before messing with my town's people. So, what do we need to do? We need to throw an egg at the town bully. So, let's throw an egg. This is so... This is just hilarious to me. I love this. Oh! Dang it, I keep pressing Q, which I need to change it, but that is like quit. That's the quit out button for some reason. Ah, it's good to be queen. Milady, thank you for responding to my plea for help. For your great kindness, I pledge to your uh, uh, blah, 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 blah. I pledge to be your loyal servant from this day forward. I'll await you in the throne room. So we just need to go back to the yeah. So let's go to the throne. And see what is going to happen next. Okay. So let me pause this. A lot happening right now. We have, I believe it's like two visitors, right? I, a traveling merchant, bring many illustrious and select goods for your persuasal. Please approach me for the most consummate service of my trade. Not to risk a modest discord, but the sign of a practice bard is not only the melody poetry of his musical composition, but also stalwart physique for his commitment to his craft. Well, hello, good looking. It would seem a few visitors have returned my court. I do believe I see a visitor who catches my eye, and then our servant is bringing us food. Okay, so what do we need to do? So first step, uh, I will try entrance the bard, that rugged, handsome bard, Ministral Boyd, or I will woo Fleet, the beautiful and elegant merchant. So... I think the merchant would be better for the kingdom because that would secure us trade and goods and supplies. So we'll do that. Give the flower. Where is she? Does it show me where she is? Yeah, okay. So we will ask. We'll just chit chat. We'll get to know her. I've never been able to rest, resist a woman who knows her way around gold, and I presume she won't be able to resist this wildflower I picked earlier. This is cool, so we get like special things about- we can compliment her ankles! I love that. We will comfort with well-chosen cho words, I guess? Uh, we have a dry spell. Blusterous Sims more acutely feel the effects of not having kissed or woohooed in a while. Time to get temperance some actions. We are also hungry, which is never good. Oh, let's accept. Let's see if she accepts the flower. Oh no, she's moving. Nordic Prosh! Spin off! Oh, 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 she accepted. Oh, I think you have traded many flowers in my lifetime, but none are as beautiful as this. You are the most kind and most entrancing queen. Ah, uh, the early blooms of love. I can't wait to see the other beautiful travelers that come to Alley. Perhaps I could even start a family with one of them. But for now, I should deliver these resources. Um, for now, let's flirt a little bit. Raise her beauty. Yeah, because I think that just kissing even works for that. I don't know what these people are screaming about. 
Oh, here we go. Let's uh, do a first kiss. Needed woman, Jessica. Ah, look at that. So cute. Oh, look at all these buffs. We got our first kiss buff, first romance, a new friend. Oh, we are so good. Let's go back over here to the builder and give him the resources, though. Oh, look at that box. I love that. These look great, your grace. Give me some time to take inventory and I will make sure... <clears throat> I'll make sure we have enough resources for the next building. Seems like I have some time for myself. I could get to know my town people, explore my kingdom, or just relax. Or, being queen, I can tackle my many daily responsibilities. In fact, any time during a quest, I can take a break from the quest task and do whatever I want. There are no consequences as long as my focus is high, unless I spend an entire day... Ah! As long as I spend an entire day... Unless I spend an entire day ignoring my quest. I don't know why that was so hard for me to get through. At certain times each day, your sim will receive two responsibilities that you can see here. Hover over the cursor. Hover the cor cor <laughs> Hover over each responsibility to find out what you need to do if a responsibility requires you to go to a specific location of your kingdom. An orange locator mark will appear on screen. Daily responsibilities are not related. They don't have to be... And you don't have to do them to proceed. However, they do affect your focus. So yeah, these are just uh, similar to like wants or whims in Sims 4. Okay, what? So we need to write two laws, which is over here. So let's write a new law. And we'll just speed through these. And we'll write another one. So we cleared that and ask two citizens this man is smelly okay so we have to have a higher let's ask Felita why is there just a book on the floor who did this what okay that was weird Oh. You can move stuff like this? Oh, I didn't know you could click and drag here. Okay, so I need to ask who should we become friends with? Let's let's become friends with Boyd. The bard. Boyd the Bard. Where is he going? Oh, does everyone just come to me because I'm queen? Nope. Okay, these camera... What? Okay, the camera is, like, introverted compared to Sims 4, so I keep going back to Sims 4 camera controls, and it's just not. Um... Let's just chit-chat. Oh, and let's ask about living here. I think it's wearing some really tight pants. Okay, so let's get some sleep. Oh, and then we need to write a letter of hire. I need to write a letter of hire to find the right royal adversary. So we'll, we will do that in the morning. Oh, oh, I don't think I've had this. Okay, your dream started with you in a tavern having a beverage. You called out for some music to live in the evening. Oddly enough, two famous bards appeared and started sing us, singing simultaneously. One wordsmith, Andy Island, sang a bardy comical ironic tale of crude lust. The other crony, Bickal Molten, sang a raucous ballad of pirate adventure. Both Tremonius refused to quit. You must choose a song. I think we go for the crude lust one because of her traits. 
the song was funny and brandy to brandy over the course of the song your mind stopped paying attention to the jokes and more on the goofy romance of the story you woke up feeling the need for some romantic companionship well okay that's fine so we're just gonna wake up with the drive spell which we would probably have anyways um why is everyone smelly in my kingdom Mm. Oh, look at them. Look at them go. <laughs> so let's write a letter of hire. Cash Kimrel. In Viva. <laughs> Desneath Helshim. Kesprel. Um, send off at the messaging post, which is right out here. So we will send a liar a letter of hire. And I wonder if there's food up here. We no. Um, where is my servant at? Gracian. Yeah, so we're gonna call for food because we are also hungry. Are we Sydney? Okay. I expect my new advisor to show up soon. Once she arrives, I will ask for her. Um. Oh, they already arrived. Oh, and they're peeing. Nice, dude. Nice. I don't know, it looks like they're coming out here to talk to me. Just go here. And let's ask for advice. Oh, you're gonna go eat now. Okay. Okay. Uh, my lady, to be honest, this throne room is a bit lacking. You need to furnish it better if you're going to impress any foreign leaders or professionals. You'll need simoleons to purchase items, so I'm adding some to your funds. Usually, you will take simoleons each day from taxes or by selling resources that you collect. Your advisor suggested buying something to decorate the throne room. Enter furnish mode to purchase a new item. Okay. Yeah, let's put this... Eh, I'll we'll just put two of them there. And then we will go to live mode. So now what do we need to do? Declare throne room open, which I think we just click. Yeah. Much better, my lady. I would even suggest an official provocation that the throne room is open. And it's not a bad idea considering open more relationships with their native neighboring nations i should take a peek at the tactical map before i continue expanding my own kingdom i think i'm going to end this episode here i hope you guys are enjoying this i really like playing this oh look at them uh, but yeah, I really like looking back on this game and just replaying it. It's definitely bringing up some good memories. I hope, like I said, I hope you guys are liking it as well. And until next time, bye!